Oh, that's bright. Really bright. Hey again, everyone. This is Joe from Get Good Drum Support and Prism Recordings, and this is my little FAQ video. GQD Support FAQ Video Number One. Number one. I've got sound in contact, but when I try to get it to read MIDI in my door, it doesn't pick up. This problem stems from your MIDI being on a different MIDI channel to what contact is reading. There are two ways to fix this. Either find out what contact is reading and then go and change your MIDI to that MIDI channel. Or the easier way is just to get contact to read the MIDI channel Omni. This is how to do it. It's really simple. You just click this little button here and then go over to here and change this drop down to Omni. Question two. I have two computers. Can I install my GGD library on both, or do I need to buy it again? Yes, you can install it on both. I need to read it, because I... I guess this is why people have scripts, huh? Yes, you can. With each purchase of one of our libraries, you have unlimited downloads and installs, but only three computers can be active for that particular license and only one license can be used at any particular given time. So, if for some reason you want to put both your computers next to one another and run one of our libraries simultaneously, this won't work. Uh, however, if you want to work on a project in your studio, then take it home to your laptop to continue working, this will totally work fine. Now, Native Instruments remembers where you have activated a license, so if you ever sell a computer or upgrade to a new one, be sure to get in contact with Native Instruments to deactivate that license, or you may have reached your limit when you come to activate it on a new device. Question three. I can't get your library to show up in contact. When I try it, it says, your version of contact is too old to load this file. You can update to the latest version by exiting contact and starting native access. Download native access, update contact, try again. Question four. Is there anywhere I can download routing templates or MIDI maps for your libraries for my door? We are lucky enough to have a really good community on our Facebook group forum, which is www.facebook.com slash group slash GGD forum. If you pop into there and ask someone for what you're looking for, chances are someone will be able to give it to you. Question five. Can I use your MIDI packs with software which isn't get good drums? Yes. Essentially, all you get when we send you your MIDI pack is uh, MIDI files. So if you wanted to, even though I don't see why you would, you can take the MIDI and put it through whatever piece of software you want. For example... Question six. Hey, I plugged in my electric drum kit via MIDI to contact, but it's not registering it. So each part of your drum kit that produces a different sound will be outputting a different MIDI note. To get your kit fully working with our software, you will need to work out what MIDI note each part of the kit is outputting, then assigning the coordinating articulation to that MIDI note in our software. For instance, if you hit your snare drum and you can see it's outputting a MIDI note D1, then you need to go to the mapping uh, tab in our software and assign snare hit to D1. Question seven. Can I use your products with Slate Trigger? Yes. When you purchase one of our full libraries, you get the TCI files too, so you can use all the samples we supply with Slate Trigger. Question eight. When I route your libraries out to my door, will it change the sound at all? No. There is no kind of master bus processing that we apply in contact, so when routing the channels out of contact, the sound will not change whatsoever. Question nine. I've been following your routing tutorials, but I don't have the outputs showing in my contact. So to show different windows and panels in contact, you need to press this little button with three white rectangles on. This will display a drop-down menu from which you can select which windows you want to see. Question 10. I've lost my purchase email with my serial on. How do I go about finding my download details? Easiest way to do it is by emailing me by going to www.getgooddrums.com slash pages slash contact and I will resend your purchase emails to you. So that is all for today's FAQ video. I'll probably make another one in the future. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comments. Um, and as always, go make some sick music.